Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to share with you 11 homemade Christmas gift ideas. I am so excited that Christmas is coming up. It is one of my favorite times of the year. I am just one of those weird people who drinks eggnog year round and listens to Christmas music in July. So there's that. But one of my favorite parts of Christmas is actually giving gifts and I especially love giving homemade gifts. It just feels extra special, not only for the people receiving the gifts because they know you actually took time to make a homemade gift for them, but it's also just really fun to actually make the gifts yourself. So, and sometimes I know it can be kind of hard to think of ideas to give people for gifts. Some people are a little bit hard to shop for, you're just not really sure what to give them, but I can almost guarantee you that they will like at least one of the things on this list. It's a pretty diverse list. There's a lot of different types of gifts on here, so a lot of good options for people who are even hard to shop for or for even for people who aren't, just maybe try not to spend as much money this Christmas season. I know that Christmas has gotten pretty materialized and people are all about spending all the money on Christmas, but handmade gifts that actually don't cost very much can be some of the most thoughtful gifts that you can give. Most of these things don't take special equipment even or super special ingredients that are really easy to get and a lot of the things you should already have in the house. So I hope this is helpful in giving you some good ideas for Christmas gifts and it's coming up pretty fast and I am unbelievably excited about it. So let's just get right into these ideas. Before we get into the list, I wanted to mention real quick that there is a blog post that goes along with this video that I will link down in the description box it has all these ideas written out. So if you need to have it somewhere where you can remember all the ideas, they're in the list down below. And I also have a lot of things linked. So a lot of these recipes and ideas and, and products and different things, they're all linked down below. So make sure you go check out the blog post. But without further ado, my first thing on the list is homemade bath salts. This is a really simple project and it doesn't take a ton of ingredients. It actually takes mostly things you have in the house, literally already. And it still feels really pampering and fancy to the person that you're giving it to, like bath salts. That sounds really fancy. But you really only need some salt, some coconut oil, or even some other kind of oil, like you could even use olive oil or avocado oil. You could add different kinds of clay to it, like bennonite clay or baking soda or different ingredients that are good for the skin. You can make it super fancy. You can add essential oils. There's just so many options for this. And then just put it in a pretty jar and tie a ribbon around the rim and put a little tag on it and that says what's in it and you're good to go. I will be sure to link my favorite to bath salts recipe down in the description box below and up in the cards because there's actually a video on here. Number two is homemade soap. This is probably one of my favorite gifts. I absolutely love soap making. It's so fun to try to make different kinds of soaps and different scents. Now, of course, you don't have to get into making it totally from scratch like I do. You don't have to try to measure out the lye and do any of that stuff. Of course, if you want to, I will link my soap making playlist down below, but you could just buy a melting pour soap base and you can add in different essential oils and herbs and clays and all sorts of awesome stuff and make it super fancy. You can buy different shapes of molds and, and make them special shapes. You can use a soap stamp and put special stamps on it. There's just so many ways you can customize soap and pretty much everyone loves soap. Like everyone I know uses soap, so it's a great gift. And especially if they're homemade soap bars, it's a really special gift too. So it's practical and special. The next thing is beeswax candles. And this is such a fun one. It can be so personalized. My favorite thing to do with this is to go thrift shopping and find all kinds of different cool jars and vases and different beautiful vessels to put the candles in. Like they don't just have to be in something plain. Mason jars, pitchers, teacups, canisters, like you name it. As long as it's something that won't melt when it gets hot, so not plastic, and not something that has a super narrow top that when it like goes down far enough, you can't actually light the thing. So there's certain parameters. You need to use some common sense when you go shopping for this stuff, but there are so many options. And having it in like a little teacup, like a candle in a teacup, that is like the cutest thing ever. And such a great gift. I will link the, the blog post with the printable recipe card and the YouTube video for this recipe that I have because I love it. It's my favorite recipe ever. You can create beautiful tapered candles where you dip the wick in beeswax and you let it cool in between dippings and you create this long tapered beeswax candle that is, they're absolutely gorgeous. You can customize the scent with essential oils or using cocoa butter. It's just, there's just so many options with this. The next thing is lip balm. And a batch of this makes a lot of lip balm. So these would be a great thing to even add into other gifts or to use as stocking stuffers or just pass out to everyone you see because it's Christmas time. And especially since in the winter, people's lips tend to be chapped. This is a perfect gift for winter. And don't worry, I will link my recipe for that as well. 
The next thing is canned goods. I'm a little bit obsessed with canning. This is an absolute perfect gift for if you're someone who preserves a lot of food or you're a homesteader. It's just such a big part of our lives and we have a lot of canned goods. And I actually canned a lot of extra things like fruits and jams just to give away as gifts because they are always a hit. I've been able to can probably over 400 jars this year and I'm so thankful for the stash that we have. And I'm also so thankful that we have enough that I'm able to give some away. And they're also just like a perfect gift, like a jar of jam with maybe some jute twine around the rim and a little tag or, or written on the top what it is. It's like the perfect gift. It's just little and simple, but sometimes those are the best gifts. Homemade lotion. This is another really simple, easy project. It just takes some different oils and shea butter and maybe some essential oils, maybe beeswax. There's so many different lotion recipes. You could even go super fancy and whip it and make it to a fabulous body butter. Those are my favorite lotions. They just feel so fancy. I've shared several lotion recipes on my channel and blog before, including my whipped magnesium body butter, as well as just a simple basic lotion. And I will link both of those below. And of course you can customize this with the vessel and the scents and you can make it a little more fancy and tie a bow on it. My next idea is homemade Kahlua. This is something that you will have had to start earlier in the fall because it does take a little while to make. Because you do have to let the vanilla beans sit in the vodka for like six weeks or something. Quite a while, but man, does it make a delicious gift. And it's the perfect gift for coffee lovers. Any coffee lovers on your list, like anyone like me who's on your list, will always appreciate Kahlua or something fancy to put in their coffee. But you use vanilla beans, vodka, sugar, and some strongly brewed coffee, and you make this wonderful Mexican coffee liqueur, and you can bottle them in half pint or pint mason jars and put a little tag on it, and it makes a really great gift for anyone who enjoys coffee. Baking mixes, or even baked goods. You could mix up some really cool baking mixes for people who enjoy baked goods, but maybe don't want to go through the time of making a whole recipe. So you can get all the dry ingredients. You can actually find online specific recipes for baking mixes that use more things like powdered milk, but you put them in layers where it looks so cool in the jar where you can see the layers of each ingredient and their different colors and they look really pretty. You can write down the rest of the instructions and maybe attach it to the jar and tie some a bow or uh, some twine around the lid. Or of course, you can just bake the baked goods and give it to them fresh if you know that they'll eat it before they go bad, which for someone like me who is has a huge sweet tooth, that would be a really great gift. The next idea is sugar salt scrubs. This is super easy and simple. You really only need sugar and salt and something like coconut oil or olive oil or avocado oil like some sort of healthy oil for the skin and you mix them all up you can have some essential oils in it and it's really really easy it's similar to the bath salts you just put it in a jar with some twine around the top and a little label that says what it is and then that is just a really great gift that also it just feels like you're pampering the person you're giving it to homemade vanilla extract i love making my own vanilla extract it just feels so special to use homemade instead of store button and it also makes the sweetest gift. You can bottle it in little half pint mason jars, tie a little jute twine around the rim, and even if it's not done all the way, because this is something you have to start a long ways before you actually give the gift. So even if it's not done all the way, you can still actually give it as a gift. You can put a little tag on it that says what it is and you can say it will be ready on the state. And that just kind of builds up the anticipation and then they will enjoy it even that much more. My last idea is hot chocolate mixes. Hot chocolate, in my opinion, is pretty much an essential for Christmas time. Like you, it's almost a law that you can't go through Christmas time without having hot chocolate at least once. I actually have a recipe for this on my blog that I will link, but you really could just put all the dry ingredients and mix them all up. You can put them in a mason jar a half pint or a pint, whatever amount you want to give to each person. And then you write on the instructions on a tag or something and you can tell them what wet ingredients they still have to add. So if they need to add some water or milk, just write the instructions on the packet. They'll have the dry ingredients ready to go and that'll make it easier for them to have their hot chocolate. And there you go. Those are my 11 ideas for homemade Christmas gifts. Of course, I have a ton more that I could tell you, but I will save those for next year so you can look forward to another Christmas homemade Christmas gift idea video and blog post. So make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss it any more of these videos. Make sure you go over and check out my website with all the blog posts and subscribe to my email list because I have some exciting things coming up. But I hope this list was helpful and that at least one of these things worked for people on your list. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!